Hello everybody. This is the Eastern Panhandle Conservation District with your Read Aloud Today. And our Read Aloud book comes from Usborne, Lift the Flap, First Questions and Answers. And this book is titled, How Do Flowers Grow? So how do flowers grow? Flowers grow on plants and plants start as little seeds. So what do plants need to grow? Plants need water, sunlight, and air. Can you see a seed? Can anybody see any seeds? Right in here, I know it's really dark, but right in here is a little seed just starting to grow. And you can see it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and eventually it turns into these pretty sunflowers. So what's growing under here? Little hairy roots, they soak up the water for the plant. So see the roots right here? And what about up here? This one grew and it has what's called a flower bud right here. So that's what's gonna turn into those sunflowers. So do plants need food? Yes, they make their own food though and their leaves using the light from the sun. So what happens next after we get right here to where we just start to see this flower? We got one, two, three, four. Look at that big, beautiful sunflower. So what are the main parts of a plant? Can you think? So we've got, bring this down, the roots all the way down at the bottom. And then we go up. And we have our leaf and our stem. And then we go up here. And we have our flower head. Why do plants have flowers? Flowers make a dusty powder called pollen. Plants need pollen from another flower to make seeds. But why do flowers look bright and smell so nice? To attract insects. Insects like the sweet liquid nectar inside the bright flowers. So what is this insect doing? Let's zoom in to take a closer look. All right, you zoomed in. All right, so here is the nectar, and on this little part right here is the pollen. So it's sucking up the nectar and getting pollen stuck to its body. You can see right here, there's little bits of pollen on its legs. So how do insects help plants? By taking pollen from one flower to the next. So let's follow the trail oh, goes over here to this flower and then jumps to that one and then oh there is the bee jumps all the way over there so what does pollen do it travels down a tiny tube right here and makes seeds inside the flower these are flowers too but why aren't they colorful because they don't need to attract insects they use the wind to blow their pollen from one flower to the next. So do flowers only attract insects? No. Little hummingbirds drink nectar too. And so do some bats at night. But where do seeds come from? You can find seeds and pods and juicy fruits. As the flowers die, the seeds grow. But why do the flowers die? Because they're no longer needed. They've shared their pollen, now their seeds can grow. Where do poppy seeds grow? In a seed pod. Inside a seed pod that grows bigger and bigger. What's inside this seed pod? Beans, each bean is a seed that can grow into another bean plant. So what happens next here at this little dandelion? 
the flower dies and little seeds appear. So up here, we've got the dead flower, and down here is the seeds. So where are these seeds from? Because they don't look like a flower seed. An oak tree, they're called acorns. And did you know that each oak tree species, their acorns look different? So where do apple seeds grow? Inside the apple. What do you think's growing right here? It looks kind of strange. Tomatoes with seeds inside of them. So when you get those little small circular tomatoes, you might hear them called cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes. This is what they look like when they're growing on the plant. So why is this shell spiky? To stop animals from eating the seeds inside. So it's their little form of body armor to protect themselves. So who plants all the seeds? Lots of seeds are carried by animals, but there are other ways for them to reach the soil too. Why do some plants have tasty berries? So that birds eat them and the seeds inside them. So the seeds drop to the ground and the birds droppings, and then they can grow and make new plants. Do all plants grow from seeds? No, some plants such as strawberry grow their own baby plants too. So you might hear what's called a runner, and you'll start out what you might hear like the mother strawberry plant, and then it shoots out all these little runners, and you have new baby plants. What happens when the wind blows? Poppy seeds rattle out of their dried seed pods and fall into the soil. Dandelion seeds take off and fly to a new patch of soil. Do squirrels plant seeds? Yes, but by accident. They bury seeds to eat later, then forget where they've put them. Left alone in the soil, the seeds begin to grow. So what's floating in the water? Do you think maybe uh, some seeds? Yep, more seeds. These seeds use the water to float them to new growing places. Uh, what's stuck on my ear? A prickly seed. It hooks onto a passing animal and gets a lift to a new growing place. So even your dog or yourself can be considered a pollinator by transferring pollen maybe from one of these seeds or from one of the plants or when they've already gone to seed, you're taking that seed and you're taking it to a new location for it to grow. How do seeds get out of these pods? Crack, crack, crack. So as their seed pod dries, then it cracks open and the seeds fall out. So why do leaves fall? Trees drop their leaves so they can get ready for winter. Why do leaves change color in the fall? So because the tree stops using them to make food. It stops growing too, and it has a little rest. Do all trees lose their leaves? No. Some trees, such as firs, keep their leaves all year round. They're called evergreens. So uh, does anybody know what these types of trees are called that lose their leaves? Deciduous trees. So is this tree dead in the winter time? No. Look closely and you'll see little buds waiting for spring. So where do new leaves come from? This tree's buds. They open up and little shoots grow with new leaves at the tips and little flowers. So this is the tree at springtime. And the tree's roots grow in the spring also. So the tree's pretty busy because the roots are growing all the way down at the bottom and it's putting on new flowers and opening up those tree buds at the top. So in summer, what happens next? The fruit ripens. And then slowly over time, the leaves fall again. So what about the biggest, strangest, and smelliest? Flowers come in all shapes and sizes, and here are some surprising ones. So what are these? 
These are ghost orchids. So orchids are beautiful flowers with very unusual shapes. So here are some examples of orchids. You have a lady slipper orchid, a bee orchid. Can you see why they called it a bee orchid? An egret orchid. An egret is a type of bird. And if you look closely, it looks like an egret. Do all plants need soil? No, they don't. A few plants can grow in just water. So what is making that smell? So little flowers inside this plant, they let off a smell like rotting flesh to attract insects. The insects come and spread the flower's pollen. So while we tend to think flowers smell nice and that's what we're attracted to, other insects are attracted to the other end of the spectrum. So how big is the biggest flower? Up to three feet wide. It's called a rafflesia. And I hope I said that right. So what plant has the biggest seeds? The coca de mer tree. Its seeds grow in here. Each seed is bigger than a soccer ball. Does anybody know what this is? Broccoli. So why is broccoli on this page about seeds? Because, did you know broccoli is just a big bunch of buds that open up into little yellow flowers? Yeah, so you're actually eating little flower buds when you eat broccoli. And if you just would let a broccoli plant grow, it would have all these little flowers on it. So this fly landed on here. What do we think is going to happen next? Snap! The plant traps the fly and eats it. It's called a Venus flytrap, and it's one of the few plants that actually eat animals. Oh. Thank you for reading along with me in our How Do Flowers Grow book today.